Hi Pisces, it's Monday, June 5th, today, 2023, and um, I'm going to pull out your tarot cards here and see what messages spirits have for you, what comes through in your tarot today. I want to give a shout out to Miss Lisa over at Pisces Studio. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Pisces Studio, um, I recommend it. I watch Miss Lisa every day. Okay, spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? What's going on here, Pisces? On the bottom of the deck, you have judgment. All right, so something's happening in your life. Let's see. Let's see what the tarot says for you today. Yeah, and judgment wants to come out again. This is the very first card here, so it's a significant card, all right? And this has to do with a decision. It's like the angels above, spirit above, are, are telling you, wake up, Pisces, wake up. There's something here that you're doing that um, even the angels, the spirits on the other side, are calling you to wake up. So let's see what this reading is about here. There's something here that, that you kind of see, but with the moon, it's dark outside. And so you're not seeing something clearly. That's your energy, Pisces, the moon. It's Pisces Cancer energy. So you may have some cancer in your chart. And then you have the Hierophant. You might be dealing with the Taurus. But this is the divine, this is the spirit world coming through in this reading. It's like the divine wants to tell you something. The divine does not want to keep anything from you, Pisces. And so I'm feeling like the spirit world is really coming through your reading today. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. It looks like you're working on something here with the Eight of Pentacles. The center card of your reading is significant also. It's the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, the advice of the Seven of Cups is don't stand for too long trying to choose an option because... Um, it's it's just a slow it's an energy that will slow you down it's like there's something here in your energy that um you're trying to choose make a decision you're really going deep within on this pisces with the hermit showing up this is virgo energy and i kind of feel like you feel alone on this decision queen of pentacles is here so your energy is showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. There's something here about your money or about your home that keeps showing up as Pentacles underneath the judgment call. All right, and then I love it. You have the Ace of Cups. You have blessings coming in. And then you'll finally be able to get some rest because there's... There's something here, Pisces, where you're really needing to question yourself. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Swords. So this talks about pain, heartbreak. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So there's someone here that you're connecting with, Pisces. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here, but there's a third party here. Huh. There could be an X showing up in your reading. The Queen of Swords can be an X of the person that you're dealing with. Um, there could have been a divorce here that's justice, a legal matter, and there's children involved. Like um, this person, I'm seeing an X showing up in their energy for some reason. Why is judgment here? judgment here something's making you feel defensive 
You have the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. And you have Justice, Libra Energy. I feel like you're trying to see the truth in something, Pisces. There's there's someone here in your energy that um, I feel like, I don't know why the two of you are showing up as pentacles and you have the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of pentacles here. But um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius with the star showing up right there. But I'm seeing a wish fulfillment happening. Something you've been wishing for is coming through. You're going to be very successful here. It's like I'm seeing people looking up to you. Do you see the people? It's like you're about ready to cross over the finish line and something is going to be so successful. You have no idea. Someone has a couple of dogs. The dogs are really coming into my mind. But um, when we look at the energy here, I'm really feeling like some someone here has a plan. There's someone here in your energy that has a plan with the Page of Pentacles. But it feels like they're giving very little. And so... Your energy is the Knight of Cups. Energy is kind of looking at justice here, moving towards justice and wondering if giving your emotions to this person is just and fair. It's like there's someone here that you're giving to and I feel like you're questioning this person. But um, the reason you're questioning them and this person could be anyone in your life is the moon is here all right so your emotions could be taking over because you're showing up as you know like you're emotionally giving to an energy here even though you feel like there's darkness like you're not really sure you know what you're giving to exactly yeah, see, that's why you have the Two of Swords. Blinded, not making a decision, too much in your emotions. A decision needs to be made. Okay, there's the lovers right there, Gemini energy. A decision needs to be made about someone here that you love. A choice. Look at this. You're offering this emotional cup to somebody. I keep seeing it over and over again. And, um, I mean, if you look at your face here, it, to me, do you guys see the, lo the look in the eye? It's almost like you're looking at that fish in the cup. This is good news, you know, but... like you're questioning this person and the person that you're dealing with here they seem to be like they're in la la land because their eyes are closed this person does not know what's going on in your head Pisces they'd like to know they're, they're curious you know because you may seem like you may seem like you are kind of stepping away from this person a bit because I feel like you're looking at other options here because you wonder if this is right, you know, if this is a divine connection or if you're mixed up in some type of devil energy here that's going to cause you a lot of grief with strength on the bottom of the deck. Why is the Hierophant here? That strength card, that is Leo energy. You have the Ace of Pentacles. So the, this is the divine telling you something here, Pisces. There's, 
this ace of pentacles being handed to you and there's a doorway in front of you that you can walk through is what the divine wants to tell you and it's going to allow you to stop having to juggle and go back and forth in your mind something is going to become clear to you that you're questioning yeah so you have the high priestess here this is your energy pisces energy you're very connected with the divine pisces and um it's like you're connecting with with information here but i feel like you're still scouting information like you feel unclear you're questioning questioning yourself if you know if um you can trust whoever this person is why is the high priestess here let's see what you're doing pisces This is a soul connection. This is the Six of Cups. This is someone that you think about very often, Pisces. This person came into your life for a reason. The next thing we have is the Eight of Pentacles. So there's something here about your work, your money, um, what you do or even a hobby there's something here that you that you put a lot of focus on in your energy let's find out what's going on with this why is the eight of pentacles here you have the six of pentacles the reason you work the reason you do what you do is because you're a very giving person here pisces you're you you need to give and so you work and you i feel like you're very much into what you do though like you enjoy what you do but i feel like the pentacles the money that comes out of it you give and give and give there's a lot of giving here and i feel like in your energy here there's a need to give more but you just don't have it to give Ten of Swords is here. This, this is what hurts you. Is when you see people in pain here, you want to help them. But see, there. I mean, it is your wish. You have Aquarius energy, the star here. It's your wish to help heal. It's your life's purpose. It's your journey. You're a light. You're a star. And, but I feel like sometimes, I saw this when I was shuffling to the Seven of Wands. Sometimes it's like you, you have this need to back off and you feel defensive. You have a need to go into hermit mode because you get um, left with nothing. If you just keep giving and giving and giving like this so now it's like you're pushing back why is the seven of cups here i'm trying to look at other options in your life all right so the seven of cups is you thinking um clearly now with the ace of swords um, you're thinking very clearly here now and you're thinking differently because something here like I told you with the seven of cups it's a paused energy but I'm seeing you starting to think differently now a completely new way of thinking because you're trying to get out of this energy of having to fight back you know why is the ace of swords here Two cups. Who's this, Pisces? Who is this? Why is the two of cups here? The king of wands. 
Okay, so this person that you're connecting with, Pisces, is coming back into your reading right here. I'm feeling like all of the confusion that you have surrounding this person, this King of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but you could be dealing, dealing with any sign. Um, you're about ready to cut through the confusion here. Like, I'm seeing you seeing truth and justice is here for you. This is someone that you've been giving to, Pisces. And this person's looking straight back at you. This, this person um, is true and honest, I feel like. And this person is here at this time in your life for a reason, for sure. Why is the Seven of Wands here? For some of you, you've met this person. And for others of you, this person's coming into your energy. Yeah, see this, this person, I feel like you're struggling in some way, Pisces. And um, this person's coming in and offering a helping hand here. But I, I'm getting that you may have trust issues. This, whoever this person is, I'm seeing someone here who has good intentions. Why is the, the hermit here? I'm feeling like whoever this person is, you're going to be successful with this person. If you can let love back in again. Because you've been hurt so bad in the past, Pisces, you might feel like I don't know, you know, you might really question new people coming into your life at this point. Because I'm seeing a lot of pain in your past here with this Three of Swords. I'm hearing that song, I've been walking these streets so long. You know, the rhinestone cowboy. I don't know why that's coming to me. I feel like you really like that song. Someone really likes that song and it brings back good memories. But I'm seeing you here, Pisces. It's like you're showing up as the queen of wands now. Like you've got a lot to carry on your back with the ten of wands. And um, that's why you show up like this too. You know, like um, trying to back off a bit and set yourself free. It's like you want time to relax. And so I'm seeing you as the magician. It's like you can manifest anything you want, Pisces, at this point in your life. I'm seeing you as someone who's been through a lot, done it, been through a lot of heartbreak, been through a lot of pain. But there's a test going on in your life right now. And I feel like it has to do with Pisces. Can you let love back in again? Can you trust again? Because you, you might be pushing people away. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, you're you're pushing people away. It's like you found a safe zone here, Pisces. You're taking care of your home your money and you're able to keep up with things and so 
you know, you could have three children here with the Three of Cups, but I feel like you found a safe, happy place in your life. And it's like you, you do look out into the future. It's like you're putting something out there in that magician energy and you're waiting for it to come in. But when it comes in, are you like this? Like, I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know if I want to look at it. I don't know if I want to let anyone into my life. Specifically, there's somebody here that's trying to come into your life. And I feel like you're really like, no, I'm okay. And if you do let them in your life, it's like you have these walls up around you like this. You're not letting people in like you used to. You've been through too much. The, the next card you got is you got this Ace of Cups. So there's this cup coming right here. This, this love coming right here. And here it is right here. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. But see on that, on this Four of Cups, do you see how you're focused on what's in front of you there? There's three cups standing up straight. You feel disappointed in love because of what has spilled over what has been left in your past. It's like trusting people didn't really work for you. You trusted and you were betrayed. Why is the Ace of Cups here? So there's like this, this test for you now in life. Are you going to let anyone back in again here, Pisces? On this new journey. This is Aries energy with the Fool. And this is a new journey where you're not really sure what's ahead down the road. But um, that flower is really standing out to me like I'm feeling like someone could come. If no one's in your life right now, I'm seeing someone coming up behind you very quickly here with the Knight of Swords energy. And um, you may not even see this person coming yet. But it's like this person wants to take a risk and speak to you, whoever this person is. They're holding a flower in their hands. And they don't come with a lot of with a lot of burdens or um, bullshit. They're coming, you know, like this is the fool. They're coming towards you taking a risk very quickly. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. And Temperance, Sagittarius energy with Temperance. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Five of Cups. See, Pisces, here you are, the King of Love. You are love here like you love the world you give to the world you're very kind i'm feeling like if you see someone hurting you'll take the shirt off of your back to help people but can you do it because there's a spiritual connection coming into your life here um that is coming in pretty quickly and for some of you they're already here and this is a divine connection. You can see the angel on this card. See, but I see you here. See, there's those three cups that are spilled out. It's like there's energetically, you may not even realize you're doing it. But I'm seeing you holding back with the four of pentacles from this person 
because you're focused on you know what has been spilled out and lost and maybe having trouble trusting someone completely but the two of cups is standing up right here behind you there is true love here and then you have the four of swords why is the four of swords here See, the Ace of Wands. Brand new, passionate beginning. The Four of Wands in reverse, a delay. And the Nine of Swords. For some of you, this person's already here, but you question it like this with the nine of swords and let me let me go back to why the four of swords is here do you remember judgment up here these people and are coming out of coffins and do you see the angel it's like time to awaken to your new life pisces you have these aces coming into your life And um, I can't remember if it was you guys I told or some or a different sign, but um, I'm getting the same message in this reading. Do not be afraid to start a new story because you might like the new story better. And that's what I'm getting here. I'm feeling feeling like you don't want to fight with anyone anymore. But you have like this true love that's going to lead to marriage and maybe even children for some of you with the Ten of Pentacles up there. But you question it. You question this being handed to you, this Ace of Wands. So let's see what's going on when we clarify um, the Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles. clarifier of this reading why is the three of swords here the four of pentacles you're holding back again i see it you're holding back because you're holding on to this heartbreak the tower tell me about the tower the king of swords there's a specific person here, Pisces, <coughs> that I feel like this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but remember you could be de dealing with any sign, but I feel like there's a specific person here, Pisces, that pierced your heart, all right? And this, this energy right here, you still hold on to it. You still remember the pain and you still hold on to it. Someone that you let into your heart completely and they used their sword right there, right into the heart. And they kind of blew up your world when this happened with the tower showing up here. Complete destruction. You may have spent a couple days sleeping or longer even being stuck in the tower. Could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Why is the King of Pentacles here? All right, so you have the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and you have the page of pentacles you do have a past energy here pisces that wants to come back in from the past and it's someone that that did this to you that caused you this pain and they're wanting to come back in again all right they want to send you a message 
but the thing is is they feel like this they feel like they they know what they've done they know the the damage they've caused and this person feels like they've lost the love of their life but let me look into this messenger why is the knight of cups here this person did something they can never repair they can't fix this they lost their true their true love like you were very true to this person pisces and they've done something they can't take back again with the two of swords and so they feel stuck yeah see you keep this to yourself you might have been dealing with a virgo but the hermit is here for a reason you keep this to yourself but you still think about this person and it's a heavy burden that you carry you know you put on a happy face on the outside carrying a sunflower looking happy but look at your face can you guys see it it's like there's hurt behind the eyes All right, Pisces. Um, let me grab a Moonology card for you guys before I let you go. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? All right, I got two. Full Moon and Scorpio, breathe through the tension. So you might have a lot of tension in your life right now, Pisces, and I see that. But spirits are telling you just to breathe through it. There's calmer waters ahead. New moon in Leo, shine. You're like a shining star with that um, star showing up there in the Six of Wands. And then you have full moon in Leo, go wild. Set yourself free and be happy and let go of pain. On the bottom of the deck, you have, you have first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleashed, unleash your kindest self. All right, unleash, unleash your kindest self. It's okay to set yourself free. You know, because I'm feeling like some of you really question people and you have a hard time letting people into to the real you to see you. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for taking the time to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And um, thank you for being here with me for our daily Pisces get togethers. And um, I'm so happy we can all get together. I'm a Pisces too, if you guys didn't know. But um, I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.